Hey, what's going on guys? Nick from Practically Tactical. Thank you for tuning in, I really appreciate it. So on today's review, I'm bringing you what I'm gonna be bold enough to say are the best shooting eye protection on the market. That is the Rudy Project Right On Glasses. So I'm gonna be going in depth a little bit here about the specifics of these glasses, but here's what I'll tell you guys is the most important feature beyond the actual safety aspect and the construction and build and customizability of these glasses. So we have our hairs, we have a couple different handguns and rifles, and I'll tell you what really stands out to me. So for example right here we have uh, uh, just an AR-15 with the Trigicon AccuPoint 1-4. to four. Uh, What really stands out to me about these glasses, specifically the laser red transitional lenses that I have, is not only do they work in daytime or nighttime like it's starting to become now, is whatever type of optic or sighting system that you use, there's no distortion because of the, the coloring of or, or the lenses themselves of any sort of distortion to your optics. So for example, we have a rifle right here. Where when I bring that up, there's no distortion at all. It's an absolute clear crispness of the actual glass itself, the transition of light coming through that, as well as the reticle in the optic. So whether it be if you're a competitive shooter or you're just a guy that goes out to the range, these glasses really give you that no matter what type of shooting you're doing on, on an optic or a sight, you really get that clear, crisp light transmission. So obviously there's more optics than just on a rifle. So here's my Glock 19 on a Duke Defense mount with a Trigicon RM08. Now what's really great about this is I have the amber dot in this optic and these glasses just make that triangle really pop and stand out. And again, no distortion on that optic. That's what is fantastic. Then of course, let's burn this guy down here. Or let's take our fiber optic front on our proctor sights. Again, whether that be the front sight, uh, a Trigicon RMR, or an actual variable power optic, all that light comes through. There's no distortion of the reticles or the optics, which really, to me, makes these glasses stand out. You know what we're going to do? We're going to head inside. We're going to go talk to our good friend of ours, Steve Fisher of Sentinel Concepts, about these glasses and what makes them so great. All right, guys. So we're coming in for the range to talk a little more specifics about ride-ons, and more specifically with Steve Fisher of Sentinel Concepts. Um, to of note, uh, you are one of the sponsor people of Rudy Project. Correct. Um, just want to get that out there. But what I want to talk about here is obviously talk about the specific glasses, but specifically, I think glasses are one of the uh, kind of passed over mm. important, extremely important um, pieces of gear, safety gear on mm. the range that a lot of people will skimp over. They will. You only get one set of eyes in your life. That, that's just, it's, it's that simple. I've gone through the whole gamut of glasses in my entire shooting career from everybody that's out there. There's a lot of good glasses on the market. So what I started looking for in glasses was something that was lightweight, that didn't pinch with the Air Pro, that offered me a good warranty on them, but they had to have the best thing that I was looking for was optical clarity of the lenses and something that had an adjustable nose piece to give me a proper fit because you'll see guys a lot of times are like, well, I couldn't see this. They're always adjusting their glasses because they're looking out of the top of the bow of the lens or some other part of the, you know, the framework is always in their way because the nose pieces aren't adjustable. These, any of the Rudy's have a 360 degree adjustable nose piece. So it actually fits for the right of the face, which is important to me, especially when shooting. All I want to see is a sharp, crystal clear center focus on that front sight or even running, you know, magnified or red dot optics on, on my carbines or even on handguns at some point. So, to me, the most important piece of gear that I literally have on the range is these. You know, I'm around a lot of chunks of flying brass, different types of guns, reloaded ammunition that somebody brought to class. I've seen enough guns go up in class that I've been close to them and I've had them in my hands and they've actually just gone up and grenaded. So to me, these are the most crucial piece that a shooter can have mm -hmm. is good glasses. Yep, absolutely. And I mean, talking specifically about these, let's talk about, I mean, 
What makes glasses comfortable isn't the way they come. It's the way that you can customize them to fit, again, mm -hmm. as you talked about your face. So, uh, I mean, everything here is adjustable. I mean, you can adjust this thing, yes. I mean, however you want. Whatever you want. To do. Uh, 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 as you can see here, I generally run mine not too aggressive uh, inboard to my actual uh, side right here. Mm -hmm. I like them to ride, but hook a little bit just to give me the retention aspect. Sure. Uh, for me, I liked mine to ride a little bit off my face because, again, too, um, and some I should mention, I've never had an issue with sweating. I think back to where we're at Alliance Police Training right now. We go back to the August shoot house class. Uh, it was hot, humid. Uh, Guys know. are complaining about their glasses fogging because of the way they ride. They're tight on their face because they don't have a lot of the features of good glasses. Yep. So that, that, that is another key piece to me is the way, like I said, the way the glasses ride on the face, the way they protect the eyes. The other thing that I like about these a lot, like you said, you, you know, you mentioned the flexibility of the earpieces. That's a big component when wearing Active Ear Pro because a lot of people will say like, oh, they're pinching, they're binding, the Ear Pro is compressing them, they're giving me a headache. Well, it's because you haven't gone out and actually, you know, done the research on really good shooting glasses, gone out, tried them, you just buy a set, you put them on and you deal with it. Mm -hmm. That's not how this works. You, you do a ton of research on your gun, the ammunition, the rest of your kit. You should do the same for your eye pro. Uh, and I think something extremely important, especially when you look at any eye pro, is the wraparound aspect mm -hmm. here. Uh, not just having the front, but actually, as you can see, I, this comes Side back protection. right here. Um, and the nice thing is, which, what I specifically like about these glasses, there's no frame right here to where it just gives me that little more peripheral vision. Oh, there's nothing. I shouldn't say that it doesn't give me more. It, nothing's blocking my Your peripheral, peripheral vision. Yes. Um, and, and to me, that's one of the really nice things about this. But there's so many. Uh, you know, let's talk about lenses. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the big thing about Rudy Project, <laughs> what sets them apart is their lenses. Uh, and if you guys want specific, very detailed information that I can't specifically remember, we actually have a practically tactical on target with Rudy Project. Uh, and in there, we, we, he goes in depth hugely on... Uh, the transmission of rays and mm -hmm. how light transmits through glass. I mean, incredible stuff way above me. But the Rudy Project is good. But specifically, we're talking about the lenses here. I mean, the lens is stronger than me. Back to normal. I'm going to take it. And guess what? I'm going to put it right back into my glasses. And it fits. Yeah. There's no worry about that. The one thing that's really nice about the Rudy Project glasses is that there's such – a variation of frame sizes and lens sizes. Like for me, I've got a little bit larger face. I need larger wraparound protective lenses. So in, in the versions that I wear, I usually look for that, that fuller coverage from top to bottom and the way I'm going to set them up on my face. So it's simple as getting large lenses ordered. Mm -hmm. Go to them. They make accessory lenses. So, you know, you can look on their website. You can call them, talk to them, you know, whoever it is you're buying them from. Order the larger lenses so you can get a little bit more wraparound protection. So if you've got a larger face or a smaller face or just oblong shape, you know, everybody's shape in the head is different. Mm -hmm. So the fit is still pretty critical. That's why it's nice to have the adjustable temples, the nose piece, and the option of larger lenses. My favorite thing about them, besides their warranty, which is phenomenal, and the yep. strength of their lenses, is that they're photochromic lenses. So normally you'll see guys running around at classes doing things. If we're going to do a low light shoot, then they're either trying to change lenses or change glasses to a clear. These adjust automatically, obviously, with lighting conditions. So they'll go from dark to light. I don't have to change my glasses for when I'm going into a shoot house or into a building for low light training or low light training on the range. So it, it really gives me, I can go out buy one really good pair of glasses, get a couple of different lenses for the outdoor shooting aspect if I want yellow. If I want the red, browns, purples, whatever color I need to enhance the transmission of light or minimize the amount of light that comes in during really bright sunny conditions, I can do that by simply going through their catalog, going through their website, picking the colors that I want, and I'm good. Yeah. Uh, and you can literally customize every single thing every on the glasses, piece. every color. Uh, you can change the color here, earpieces. Um, the lens that I'm actually running are the laser red, and these are the Impact uh, X2s, yes. which... For those that don't know, look it up. It's made of like Apache helicopter glass. Yeah, it's the same it's like, technology that's used yeah. in the Apache helicopters. Yeah, uh, go check them out. I like that. I, I don't know. I wasn't sure if I would have liked uh, the laser red in, in these transition lenses. I freaking love They're it. Great. I've ran these through five, six, seven classes. These I've never changed the lens. I actually didn't even take them out before this because I had to clean them because they were nasty. Um, but I've ran these through low light, your low light classes, out on the range, rain, sun, dark, everything and they've 
the transition, uh, you know, whatever they do to set the transition is phenomenal. And I've never had to adjust them or get other lenses. For me, these are the one glasses I can show up anywhere do and wear with. them. And usually when I leave the range, I just keep wearing them uh, because specifically with the laser red, it helps build a little more contrast. Mm -hmm. And for me, for my shooting, that helps me a lot. Correct. The other thing that I have found with them is they offer a prescription lens. And it's not just an insert where you'll see Correct. a lot of guys or companies that have this little chunk of them that has this inserted, you know, focal lens that's adjusted to their eyes, their prescription. They actually do the prescription, the entire lens. So it's a very clean, smooth look. Nobody will notice that you're wearing some kind of goofy transitional bifocal looking lens set up inside your glasses. So aesthetically wise, it's great. But functionality wise, it's even better because yep. you still don't have that. I'm looking through this. I'm looking here. I'm changing that focal view. It's the whole entire lens. And it's centered around that prescription. They're, they're not the most expensive glasses on the market. They're not the cheapest glasses on the market, which they shouldn't be. They're, they're at a really good price point. They, I, I can't say enough good about them. I, I really can't. I, like I said, I've had the whole gamut of glasses. I have a box full of them. All the features that I like between the impact lenses, the photochromic lenses, the adjustable temples, the adjustable nose piece the overall weight of them they're incredibly light which a lot of people overlook because believe it or not wearing that on your face all day eight ten plus hours it does weigh down it gets heavy you'll see people with the nose imprints you know from the temples yep. the way they fit <clears throat> so getting a set of glasses that are comfortable you will wear them yep a absolutely. lot of guys will just shun them at times when they're in a range in their practice session because the glasses are uncomfortable yeah well and, and something too which we're going to go back out to the range here a lot of people will say well you know, they're expensive glasses, I'm gonna lose them or you know, whatever. No, if you have a very nice pair of, of glasses, you're gonna treat them nice because yeah. that's when you fully appreciate, appreciate them. how yeah. nice um, glasses are. Trust me, I actually left these at one of the, I, I forgot to bring them at one of my classes left them on my computer desk because I was editing a video or something before I came. I borrowed someone else's and man, I could not wait to get these back. Yeah. Um, they're great. The, the, the other thing is the flexibility of these glasses is really, truly nice. Yeah, do that with your normal parachuting glasses and yeah. watch what happens oh, or, your, just, or, your, or your little whatevers. I mean, they're just, they're, they're going to break on you. You'll see guys who show up to class with the, like these El Cheapo safety glasses they get at work. I know. <laughs> and they'll show up with these, you know, janky glasses that don't really have really good ballistic rating protection on them. They're solid. They're great glasses. I have nothing else to say about them other than if you're going to go out and you're going to get new shooting glasses, do the research, do the homework, try them on, get a good pair of glasses, ask for some recommendations. They'll, they'll be more than happy to answer your questions through emails, get to their website. There's a lot of things to navigate through. Go into their shooting section, click on them, find what you want. You can have them built to any color like you were saying, any configuration. But for anything, people, especially if you're shooting a lot of steel, get a really good set of glasses they are going to offer you good eye protection. You only get one set of eyes in your life. Maybe 10 years from now, they'll be implanting, you know, somebody else's eyeballs in your head or Google freaking lenses or something. I don't know what. Wait for minority report. There it is. It's going to happen. Whatever that is. <laughs> so, <clears throat> but, but honestly, you know, find them, take a look at them. Uh, actually, if you guys go to Rudy Project site, they actually have a uh, store locator. Mm -hmm. You can go there and try them on. Uh, we're going to go back out here, but I want to leave us with one last thing. Uh, Craig Outson, uh, Three Gun Concepts, amazing shooter, um, shared a story on the show where Rudy Project saved mm -hmm. his eyesight. He was setting down a pop-up steel target with a clay. Something didn't catch, thrown up in his face, and he literally credits these for saving his eyesight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to head up back to the range, guys, and finish this up. Well, there it is, guys. There's our review of the Rudy Project Ride-On Glasses. Uh, to me, the, everything that they offer, I just don't know if there's better glasses out there. The durability, the construction, the performance you get out of these, again, whether it be day or night, any sort of optic, anything you do, these are here to protect you but give you that optimal performance. So again, we really want to thank our friends at Alliance Police Training, AlliancePoliceTraining.com for letting us come out here and film these. And of course, big shout out to our sponsor, Great Lakes Ammo. Go to GreatLakesAmmo.com, use code PRACTAC10, and save 10% on ammo. So, I'm going to get back out and do a little more shooting. You guys, go out and get yourself a pair of these, and enjoy.